Hi, and welcome to part 3 of our system settings video tutorials for OpenCart 3. This time you'll be learning about the option tab and all the settings you can tweak there. So in your dashboard, go to system and then select settings. Click the edit button and then select the option tab. As you can see, this tab is separated into different sections that affect different parts of your store. First stop, products. You can select whether to display the product counter in the categories. Mind that this might be a heavy load if you have a lot of products in your store. The next setting is for configuring the number of items that will appear in your admin panel such as products, orders, etc. The default value here is 20. Next stop is reviews. Select whether or not to allow customers to post reviews for your products. You can also choose whether guest users can post reviews as well. Ok, moving on to vouchers. This is where you can set the minimum and maximum amount for every voucher your customers can purchase. And now for taxes. First, select whether to display product prices with tax included or not. After that, select whether to use the store address for calculating taxes for guest users. Next, you can choose to use the customer shipping or payment address for calculating the taxes for registered users. And now the account settings. Enable or disable tracking for which customers are currently online in your store. Next, enable or disable the tracking for actions customers take in your store, like submitting orders. Below that, enable or disable the log for search queries customers enter in your store. Now, select the default customer group that new users will be assigned to automatically when they sign up in your store. You can also choose which of the customer groups will be displayed in the account creation section for new users. This lets the user select the customer group they want to be assigned to. If you want to hide your product prices for guest users, click yes here. In this way, customers will need to sign up in your store to see the prices of your items. You can also select a limit for the number of logging attempts required to log the user's account for one hour. This is where you select whether you want to force users to agree to your terms and conditions when creating their accounts. Use the drop-down menu to assign the page that contains the legal information. Moving on to the checkout section. The first field lets you enter the default invoice prefix. After that, you can enable or disable displaying the weight of the products on the cart page. Below, enable or disable guest checkout. If this is set to no, customers will be forced to create an account if they want to complete orders in your store. Here, you can also set the terms and conditions page that customers will be forced to agree with before submitting their orders. Next, select the default order status that will be enabled for all new orders when customers confirm them. The preset status is pending, which means that an order is waiting to be processed. Below, you have the default order status that starts subtracting product stock and calculating vouchers, coupon codes and reward points. The complete order status allows customers access to downloadable products and gift vouchers. The two default ones here are complete and shipped. Now, the fraud order status is activated when there is suspicious customer activity, such as attempts to alter payment information or use expired coupons or gift vouchers. The default one here is cancelled. Last, for the checkout section, select the default API user the admin should use. Ok, and now the product stock settings. The first one is called display stock and it lets you enable or disable the item quantity 
you have available in the product pages. Next setting allows your store to show an out of stock warning sign in the cart page. And this shows if a customer has added an item with zero quantity. This has relation to the setting below, which is called stock checkout. If this is set to yes, then the warning above will not be shown. Okay, and now for some affiliate settings. The first setting lets you select the default affiliate group that all new affiliates will be automatically assigned to when they sign up. Following, select no if you prefer the affiliates to be approved automatically or yes if you want to approve them yourself. Below that is the automatic compression field which lets you add the commission automatically when each order reaches the complete status. Next one is the commission percentage your affiliate will receive for each order. The default value is 5%. Last is the terms that they will be forced to agree with when creating their accounts. Ok, so next stop is product returns. First, select the items that customers will be forced to agree when submitting their return. Next, select the default return status for the order when the return is submitted by the customer. The final section in the order tab is the CAPTCHA. First, you can select the type of CAPTCHA your store will be using for the security in your account creation. The field below lets you add the CAPTCHA security measure to pages you won't use it for. Ok, so that's it for the option tab in your OpenCart 3 system settings. We hope it's all clear now, so you can continue setting up your store the way you would like it to look. Thanks for watching and stay tuned for part 4, image and mail. Hit the like button if the video helped you and subscribe for more OpenCart 3 tutorials.